Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Depending on the time and location you are tuned to our channel, thanks a lot for the visit. Today has been quiet somehow, unusually quiet because a tragedy just occurred last night. You know, one of our CEOs passed away. You know, nobody can understand what you are feeling unless they born the way you bond. You know. One CEO just died in uh, Oshobo, Oshun State. Now being down with stroke since February. Now let's give you a brief account of what happened. From verification, verification, he was scared of traveling by road because of kidnapping. He contacted his account officer for a loan, very huge amount, that within a month he will pay back unfailingly. And the officer unfortunately accepted, though that time it was a fortunate, but now it's a fortunate thing, but now it's quite unfortunate. He accepted and uh, behold, he gave him the loan. One month, two months, three months, one year, nothing happened. Then banks started dragging him. February third, he was hospitalized. You know, after, after one month, he couldn't bear the shock that uh, because they were told immediately after verification as you are getting home you will get disbursed so he decided to just borrow money you know traveled took flight traveled for the verification he, he bought a flight going and coming you know what that means he stayed in a hotel throughout one week for verification in abuja then he paid you know and i bet you According to the information we are hearing, he had up to 20 bundles. If you are a CEO, you know what 20 bundles means. You know, he had more than 20 bundles. So, and getting to the to the verification ground, he was told to add, you know, they manipulated him. He added up to 100 bundles. You know, he has to get more money to put more up to 100 bundles. You know, so he has calculated what he will give from that hundred bundles. So he went ahead and uh, verified for hundred bundles. You know, so uh, with the hope that immediately they are getting home. That's what they were told. That's what Ken told them. You know, he told us, told all of us that when we get home, we we'll get to this. But although I'm not, I'm not a, a CEO, but. <laughs> I'm not a CEO. I don't have NGO. I didn't. I didn't subscribe my NGO. I only, I'm only a beneficiary, you know. So you were, you were told. Everybody was told that when you get back home, you will disburse to the NGO, and then so facto we will get our money. So he waited. After one week, two weeks, then February, the bank started coming to knock, so to for the interest. So he found out that he couldn't even pay. The interest because he was waiting for the money, he was down with stroke. You know, he was down with stroke. So that's the story now. So we stand on this endless death of CEO. A lot of CEO have died through hypertension, stroke, and uh, depression. You know, this is now the recent one. You know, and it's so pathetic that now, immediately after his death, this secular was passed. Uh, they, it's kept circular was passed. He said, if you have the names, numbers, and pictures of the government committee, the government disbursement committee of this grant, forward to our platforms. You are problems. The president Blah Tunubu has given mandate. I've ordered go ahead for disbursement. You know, who told you that? The C G C F O K for disbursement to take place, but they have said no. Reason for doing that will be communicated shortly okay enough is enough bribe the kill when will nigeria turn out to be a corrupt free disbursement is a problem as it stands if no disbursement will take place since two weeks ago for all instruments to showcase their bad attitude and behavior towards the board subscribers and dying masses for this country their end is now unless they choose to do the right thing and needful as we we have overflooded this issue i don't want to flood it again 
government committee we didn't subscribe to them so why should some group of people go after them yeah, they left ken alone ken is there in safe heavens refused to talk to the masses saying he's doing work what is he doing you have a look at what happened in the united states when uh, the, the the secret agent chief was being bombarded with query you know for that misconduct but in Nigeria, a lot of misconduct go on unattended, you know. So Ken should come out and explain to us what's delaying it. He was the one that knows and inaugurated the government committee. Let him come out and tell us what they are doing. You know, it's him that has to explain. It's him that we did the verification in his hand. So let him come and explain. You know, I, I'm so sad. I'm so sad at this moment now. This man just died of a of a hypertension of a, of a stroke because he thought about the money he borrowed and there's no means of him paying back. He went down with stroke. Let us just pray for him and uh, pray that these things should end. These things should end. And subscribers and CEOs, they still go ahead to subscribe to some growth. Some a lot of grants are pendling. A lot of grants are coming up and they still subscribe. You know, I still blame the sus I still blame the NGOs and the CEOs. I blame them. Yeah. I blame them. From Tepicom, a lot of things have been going wrong. You still come out, okay, subscribe what you can lose. Subscribe for what you can lose. Don't just go and borrow money to subscribe. It's not prudent. It's not prudent. You know. So I'm so sad. Let us just pray for the soul of the faithful departed. See you on our next update, guys.